Hello, hello! Welcome in Aura Senamina, Lairim Islenskur, or welcome to my channel and let's learn Icelandic. First of all, I want to thank you all because now I have over 100 subs. Woohoo! Seeing so many people here makes me believe that there are many people out there who are trying to learn Icelandic and makes me feel like maybe I can help. So thank you very much for this. But let's get on with the learning. Uh, I think if you want to learn Icelandic or any language at all, I think exposure is extremely important. So if you surround yourself with the language as much as possible, this will make your life so, so much easier. But when you're starting out, it's kind of difficult because there's not so much material available. If you have Netflix, I think there are Icelandic TV shows there. Uh, and maybe if you have Twitter, you can try and add a couple of Icelandic people that maybe share your interest because then at least it's short and then you can give it a go. And another way is to try to listen to music. And this is what I want to start today. I want to start with a small children's uh, a song, sort of, a, a song that's very famous in Iceland. Every, everyone knows it. Uh, and the beauty of this particular song is that many of the words that appear in the song have appeared already in the course in one form or another. So if you've watched very religiously to every single episode and paid extremely well attention, then you might recognize a few words. If you have not watched at all or watched very sloppily, this is fine, then you will just learn these uh, words today. I should stress that the point of this video is not uh, to be musically pleasing, it's educational. So, but I will I will write the name of the song in the description, and then you can just Google it or YouTube it and find the version that is actually nice to listen to, and maybe listen to it a couple of times, and then I'm sure you will remember the words and so on. But I'm still going to attempt to sing it. I will start by singing it once now, just go through it once without any explanation and try to see if you can recognize a word or two. And so let's just get started. Krummi krunkar úti, kallar á nafna sinn. Ég fann höfuð af hrúti, hrygg og gæru skinn. Komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér krummi nafni minn. So as you can see, not long at all, uh, not long at all, and after this episode, I'm sure you, you will understand it perfectly, and maybe you'll know it by heart. Let's see, let's see. So let's just start with the first word, which is krummi, krummi, and I think this word deserves a little bit of a side note, uh, or a detour, if you will, because krummi actually means raven. But in reality, Krimi is actually like a nickname for Raven. Okay, it's like a nickname. So officially, like the formal word for a Raven is Hrab. Hrab. Okay, and we have these things for a number of animals, and I'm not completely sure why. But for example, if you want to say a cat, then officially a cat is called Kötter. But unofficially, unofficially, like a nickname, we call it Kisa. Kisa. And you can already sort of see that Krumme is sort of more friendly than Rab, and Kisa is sort of more friendly than Kutter. And it's not at all like if you would talk to a baby and say, ah, see the meow meow. It, it's not baby talk. So we also have these kinds of words, but these are only, only for babies that don't know how to speak. Krumme is something that grown-up people use, everyone use it, when you want to talk about Raven in a friendly way. Sort of like, uh, he's your pal, he's somebody you know, it's, it's somewhat affectionate. Basically, you use it in the same way as we would use uh, pet names. So if you're talking about Ravens in a serious way, like from a scientific kind of stand, or alternatively, if you're talking about respectful Ravens, such as uh, the Ravens of Odin, uh, Ragnar Odins, or Odin was the head of the Nordic gods, father of Thor, and he had two ravens, they were called Huyin and Munin, and they were super smart, and these are respectful god-like ravens, so that for them we will never call them Krumi. These are always Hrab. 
But if we're talking very casually about uh, a raven, then we will say krummi. And that's why when the song starts with krummi, you already sort of know that it's sort of we're seeing the raven in a sort of a friendly way. And so we have a funny little phrase, and I'm going to ask you to guess what it means. And this is to be, if, you, if I translate it literally, it means to be in a raven's foot. Okay, the phrase is at vera i krumma fot, which literally means to be in a raven's foot. This is something that children do quite often, especially before the age of six or so. But after, but after that they do it very rarely and grown-ups do it almost never. And when grown-ups do it, it's, it's kind of funny. And so we can say it in a sentence like Þú ert í krumma fót. You are in a raven's foot. So what this means is that you have your right foot in your left shoe and your left foot in your right shoe. And if you do this, then you are in a raven's foot or þú ert í krumma fót. But the phrase is krummi krunkar úti and krunka basically is the sound that the raven makes, this like very lovely, lovely sound. And úti means outside. So basically our little song starts with a raven sort of a friendly nickname raven, is somewhere outside and he is hawing. The next sentence is kallar á nafnasinn. Kallar á nafnasinn. Kallar á means call, calls for, so he's calling out to somebody. So he calls for nafnasinn, which means his name brother. So nafni means a name brother or somebody that has the same name as he does. And this means that he's calling out for another krummi. So he is outside, he's doing ka, 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 and he's calling for his name brother. He's calling for someone who bears the same name as he does. Basically, he's calling out for another krummi. The next sentence is then Ég fann höfuð af rúti. Ég fann Höfuð af rúti. And now the first word is ég, which means I. So now we're hearing it from the krummis perspective. So basically the krummi is now talking and he's talking to another raven. So one raven and he's talking to another one. And he calls out to, so he calls out to the raven and he says, I found a head of a ram. So a head of a male sheep. Or ég fann höfuð af Rúti. So, höfuð means a hat and rútur means a ram or a male sheep. There's also kind of a funny phrase with rútur, a little bit of extra side note, is that when in English you talk about mansplaining, so if you're mansplaining anything, in Icelandic this was translated to the word að rútskýra. Að rútskýra. Basically, explain like a ram would do. And the beauty of this translation is that they sound very similar to the verb að útskýra, að útskýra, which means to explain. So að útskýra is to explain, og hrútskýra is to mansplain. So the raven says, ég fann höfuð af hrúti, but that's not the only thing he found, because the next phrase is hrygg og gæru skinn. So hrygg is another case of the word hryggur, hryggur. And hryggur means both a spine, so basically the spine of your back, but it also means the meat of the back of a sheep or a lamb. This is also what we call hryggur. So in this context, he probably found the spine, but with some meat attached to it. And then gyru skin, where skin basically means skin, just like in English. And gyru skin, it means like the skin with the wool attached to it still. So it's like the skin, but it has the wool on top of it as well. So it's connected to it. And this is what we call gyru skin. So he says, Ég fann höfuð af hrúti, hrygg og gyru skin. He really lucked out. He found a, a dead ram and there is some head there and there is a spine and there's some meat. It's basically a big festival. So he says to the other raven, Komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér. 
komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér. Komdu nú means so come on now, come on now, come with me, come to me, come, come on now, komdu nú. Nú means now og komdu means come in the, in the sense that you're asking somebody to come. So komdu nú, come now and og kroppaðu með mér. So a kroppaðu. A kroppa means to pick at something. So if you pick at something like this, this means a kroppa. And every single Icelandic person has heard the phrase Ekki kroppa í sárið. Which means like when you have a small wound and you're a kid, then you want to pick at it. And then your parents always say don't pick at the wound or Ekki kroppa í sárið. But the raven wants to go and pick at the pick at the bones and get the, all of the meat, and he wants to share this with his friend. So he says the final total phrase: "Come to nu og kroppa de med mér," and then "krummi nafni min." And the end is sort of like he's calling out to another raven, and he's calling him by name, which is "krummi," and he says, "My dear name brother, krummi." So this is a nice little story about a krummi who, want, who finds a lovely feast of a dead ram somewhere like uh, and he wants his friend to join in. So it's a lovely, lovely children's song in Icelandic. So now I'm going to sing it again, but now I will sing it twice. And it's not for you guys, it's for me, because normally you sing this song twice. And if I sing it only once, it feels like I didn't finish. Krummi krunkar úti, kallar hún apna sinn. Ég fann höfuð af hrúti, hrygg og gær og skinn. Komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér krummin afni minn. Komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér krummin afni minn. Krummi krunkar úti, kallar á nafna sinn. Ég fann höfuð af hrúti, hrygg og gær og skinn. Komdu nú og kroppaðu með mér krummin afni minn. Come to no or crap of the man, your criminal. Here are the lyrics and the translation in one place in case that is useful for you. As the homework of today, I want you to uh, connect the words with their meaning in English. A small side note that here all the nouns are in the nominative, basically in the dictionary version. So if there are slight differences compared to the song, this is just because in the songs they are in all the different cases. Press pause, take all the time that you need, and then now I will give you the answer. Here is the solution. I hope you managed to get uh, most of them correctly. And now just stay tuned for a short chat at the end. Krummi krunkar úti er vísa sem hvert einasta mannsbarn á Íslandi kann. Og núna kunni þið hana líka. Svo þá er þið einu skrefi nær því að verða alveg Íslandingar eða í það minnsta að verða heiðurs Íslandingar. Þið hafa mikið með það. Blast, blast, show him the nice stuff I did.